Steve barks around. Say hi, Mark. And this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Welcome or welcome back. It's another Steve will try it. I've been liking these as the year's been going on because now we're into the holiday season, so we're going to do some seasonal Steve will try it. Now, one of the things that always rings out to me when the Christmas merchandise comes out in different stores is the dollar store, not dollar store, drug store gifts. The kind you get at Rite Aid or CVS or somewhere else. They're kind of mm, not too age specific. You're not really sure how quality it is, but they look like fun things. And if you need a present at the last minute and you swing through the drugstore, we're going to find out if you're humiliating yourself. So we're going to check out some of those products. First things first, Mark would kill me if I didn't. How are you? Also, get your emails into us by next week. Mark and I are going to be having a contest where we're going to be making your best cookie recipe. Could be your favorite, could be one you like, could be one you make, you could made up, whatever. Um, we're going to have it sent to us via email. So smokystevenandmark at yahoo.com and we'll get it there. And then we'll do the random draw. It's easier to have all them be emails and do the random draw than it is to try to go back and put comments and mix from a couple places. So you'll submit them to us there, take a picture of it. You don't have to write it out. This is just funsies. Um, we'll select one to make. And it may be yours. And if your recipe is the one that we make, um, if your recipe is pulled, then we will also pull for you, as a thank you, a, one of our gifts from Gift Mountain <laughs> over here. Um, so yeah, send in your favorite cookie recipe. Send it to our email, smokystephenmark at yahoo.com. Um, make sure I'm not missing anything. Next week, we will uh, have them here for Steve Will Try It. And the person whose recipe is chosen gets a fabulous prize from the stockpile. I think we covered it. So now we're going to go into the kitchen where we have two items that we're going to be looking at that are kitchen, well, kitchen items. The first is pizza cutter, chop and dough. So another one of the kinds you'd see, it comes already wrapped. You just have to take this off and you can actually just hand it to somebody. So we're going to take it out. It says pre-wrapped and ready to give. So we'll take this one into the kitchen. We'll give that a whirl. Another kitchen one we're going to do is... <laughs> Star Wars! Mandalorian! You've seen these out in probably restaurants for years where they do foofy desserts. Um, it, this is chocolate. This is candy. Up here. This is the mug it comes with. We're going to put some hot milk over it. It's supposed to melt and make hot chocolate. Really delicious. So those we'll do first, and then we're going to come back around. We have two more. A decision maker, because nothing says Merry Christmas like dabbling in the black arts with a pendulum. And slot machine bank. I had one of these when I was a kid. It was Fisher Price. It secured nothing, um, but I always, I always loved it. So we're going to check this out and see if it works too. And then, of course, we'll reconvene and give a general kind of final verdict on drugstore gifts. Are they worth it or get a gift card? So let's go to the kitchen. You know you do it. It's December 24th, 7.30 p.m., and you still have no presents to give. But don't worry, because we live in a nation of procrastinators, and drugstore gifts are here to save Christmas. The hell you say? Nowadays, you can get practically anything at your local drugstore, from cards to medicine, even food and decorations. But did you know they also have a huge selection, high-quality luxury gifts just perfect for everyone on your list? And they come pre-wrapped? Oh, yes! From festive mug warmers to pot holders in the shape of lobster claws, how about this fun maze coin bank? It's a great way to save money, too. Just drop your change in, and to get it out, simply maneuver the metal ball through the multi-level maze. So easy and fun! Don't let gift-giving stress you out. These stress-relieving balls are a fabulous gift, not only for the overly stressed-out recipient on your list, but for you, too. Don't you hate when your coffee gets cold? Make things warm and merry with this deluxe mug warmer, perfect for the hot beverage lover in your life. Just plug it in, place your mug atop, and you'll enjoy that hot coffee all day long. 
From deluxe luxury meat shredders to helpful decision makers, drugstore gifts got you covered. I'm so happy there's a drugstore close by. For the person who has everything, um, including a bug problem, this high quality cordless bug sucker makes a unique one of a kind gift that no one else will think of. Thank heavens for drugstore gifts. It really did save Christmas. Man, Man that was cheesy. Great. So why not start with pizza? Everything good starts with pizza. So, inside this package and that box is this little guy. So, the warning's on there, safe. Be very careful, it's very sharp. Be careful opening it. Um, we eat a lot of pizza, so I'm willing to give it a whirl. It's a little smaller than I thought it would have been. The plate's a little small. Um, but I threw this in the air fryer. It's been sitting for a little bit, and I'm gonna see if I can get through the crust. And we'll find out together. Okay. Let's try another one. Well, hell's bells. I'd say it cut pizza. Let's see if it'll cut through the crust, like, really hard. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I was expecting maybe less. I don't know, made from China, they're really proud to say. Um, I'll noodle with this, but I'm actually pretty happy with how this thing works. It only has one job and it does it okay. So now going on to our hot chocolate. Now, if you've been into any of the stores, Rite Aid, CVS, wherever, you'll see these hot chocolate bombs. This one happens to be Star Wars, but they come in all sorts of fun stuff for kids. And what you get is this. Wrapped in foil, very cute, and you have a chocolate ball. Now this is fun for kids, because it's fun for me. So what you want to do is take a mug, any mug, this is the one that it comes with, and we pour that hot chocolate. Now we have eight ounces, or one cup of milk, milk of your choice. I would stick with dairy milks, personal preference, and eight ounces, and we want it hot. So you can heat it on the stove, or you can throw it in the microwave. And we're just going to pour this over our chocolate, and the chocolate should melt. And there we have Baby Yoda. Isn't he cute? All right, so the chocolate melts into the milk. You get this nice little surprise marshmallow. I didn't know we were going to get it. That does look good. Aww. All right, oh, the Baby Yoda. All right, I'm going to give this a try. This can't wait for the couch, so. Mm, mm. That is good. You know, I'm a big believer in Swiss Miss, but sometimes something just a little extra is good. That is tasty. That is very tasty. Okay guys, so we're back. So we've tried out the hot chocolate and the pizza cutter. Let's look at the other options that we have. A slot machine bank. Mm -hmm. Now, when I was a kid, I had one of these. I think I told you at the beginning, but it was Fisher Price. This way back when. And only I knew the combination. I still probably know the combination. Um, this is decidedly different. So we're gonna take a look and see what looks familiar, what doesn't. It's black and bubble wrap, so we have that. And we're looking at a tiny slot machine. Tiny slot machine. Which instructs us to... Oh, thank you, Vanna. Just a little. Thank you, thank you. So we have some change to put in. So let's see, how is this supposed to work? Now, before you get upset like I did, batteries are not included. This little boy takes two AA batteries. So we have our coins. Coins. Ah, it's so cute. Okay, so you feed them in. And then you give it a ring. Woohoo! Okay, feels like a slot machine. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So it's kind of just through the motions of it. I'm putting some coins in. And nothing comes out. <laughs> It just saves it. Um, it's supposed to light up and make noise. And there we go. There's a winner. So, count your change wisely. Feed it in. Give it a few pulls. And, um, swing. You have it. So, this is cute. Everyone, I think, probably has somewhere in their house they keep change, unless you live off cards almost completely. Um, so, this, for me, would be, like, next to the door, on the way in, the keys go here, the smokes go here, the this goes here, that goes there, and then the change would go here. So, 
to get an idea, I'm going to have to probably leave this out and see if I'll use it for a while. But as a gift for someone who likes to play the slots and they don't have too many other interests, there's one for you. Okay? So, next we have the decision maker. Now, this is an interesting thing to call a decision maker. Um, because when I started looking at it, I'm thinking, wow, I remember seeing a psychic use that on one of those shows on the Sci-Fi channel. Um, it's supposed to be a way for you to ask questions of whoever may be present. Look for answers to those questions. So it goes back and forth. So there's the think pendulum, you know, and this is the base of it. This will have all the questions and responses. So we can ask questions. It'll say yes, not right now. See your therapist. No. Take the risk. Sleep on it. So it could be any one of those things. So this has a hole in the side of it. We're going to take this piece on here. And we're going to jam it in. Okay. Now we have our little pendulum. Let me get it in here really good. Wow, that is stiff. Okay, so let's ask some questions. Let's see. Is she really 535 pounds? It says take the risk. Is she more than 535 pounds. It's cool, it swings back and forth. It starts to pick up magnets inside each area. As you can see, as it's getting, um, well, you can't see from there. It's pulling in each of these directions. It's not just spinning wildly. And this landed on the same, take the risk again. So think Magic 8 Ball. It's about that much fun for about that long. Um, you know, I love dabbling in the dark arts, of course, but um, Maybe not for you this Christmas. But um, did it work? Mm -hmm. It's a kitschy gift. Have to use it three times? Are you going to use it again? I don't know. So let me get all my thoughts together here, and I will come back and I will join you with my final review of the four products that we looked at. See you in a second. We've been trying a lot of stuff today, haven't we? So let's round up the little circle of the wagons here and see what we're looking at. So we looked at the four products that we had up in front. We had the pizza cutter, the hot chocolate bomb kind of mix, uh, a slot machine, a uh, piggy bank type thing, and then a divining rod or decision maker. So what are my thoughts? Well, you know, my range is like one to two thumbs up. We're just going to go one to five. It's easier. So what if I have five thumbs? House on Haunted Hill. Um, so we'll start with the kitchen ones because I think they went pretty well. This pizza cutter works. Now, the, the shock on it at first was that it's, it feels chintzy. It feels kind of cheap. It's made in China, blazing right across there. Um, but when it came to pizza, put it down, laid into it, pizza was cut. And it was a little bit extra too on the crust, so it cut through that. You got to lean into it and it looks a little bit like an axe. Um, would I replace our... One that we got from, like, Crate and Barrel or, you know, some other place like that? No. But for a little extra to have if one breaks, that's okay. So one to five, we'll give it a... We'll give it a five. There was nothing wrong with that. It was perfectly fine. The hot chocolate next. Now, it's cute as hell. Just the whole concept is cute as hell. But this one with, like, the Baby Yoda kind of thing going on is very cool. This did what it said it would. Throw it the milk in the microwave or on the stove till it's hot, pour it over the chocolate, and it melts out, and then there was a little Yoda head marshmallow in it. Me too. Not for nothing, but the hot chocolate is very, very good. And the idea of it is cute. Make sure you get that milk really, really hot, or you're just going to be stirring sludge. So, for as far as this went, we're going to go 4 out of 5. So we got a 5 out of 5 and a 4 out of 5. The drawback you got to, like, heat it back up again and keep stirring it. It's not as simple as pour. It's hot chocolate. It takes a moment. So, four out of five. Our slot machine. Now, these are cute. And this is just the kind of thing you'd probably pick up for a kid at a drugstore to encourage early savings, um, which some kids may love and other kids may not. It's a place to put change. It makes some noises. The batteries would otherwise end up in the remote. So, it's okay. It's not great. It's not bad. Um... I'll give it three thumbs up. I'm going to say three. It's nothing I would use. I'm trying to think what could I replace with this. I'm big on safe saving. I don't like, I don't mind new stuff coming into the house, but old stuff has to go out. 
And I think this would probably find its way out pretty fast. I think we have some other things that are probably more a little sentimental um, and a little bit kitschier and cuter with our decor that we probably wouldn't keep this around. So three, so five, four, three, and the decision maker. So I, um, you see how it's magnetic? And then as it starts to slow down, it starts to swing in these different directions. Whee! Okay. So I, it's, it's kitsch. It's like for Magic 8-Ball, reading the horoscopes. It's nothing particularly serious, um, at least not to me. So for me, this would just take up junk on my desk and be good for one good chuckle. So one thumb up is all you're going to get from me on this. Um, yeah, I don't even feel like I need to explain that too much anymore. So we're good on the pizza cutter, the hot chocolate, take it or leave it, and hell to the no. So those were our reviews for today. Thank you for joining us for a Christmassy sort of video for Steve Will Try It. Um, definitely we've been blessed the season already with a lot of wonderful, you know, notes and cards and, and gifts from people from the channel and then from, in, you know, like the real world too. So it's feeling pretty nice coming into the holiday season. So I hope this gave you some ideas of what to look out for or what to not look out for and um, take them in stride and, and use my recommendations as you see fit. So thank you for joining us, and thanks for watching. Please do subscribe, hit the notification bell. You'll get alerts when we have new videos and go live. Uh, we're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Email address, contact info is all below. Thank you. Don't forget to email those cookie recipes, smokystevenmark at yahoo.com. Okay? And um, we'll catch up with you very, very soon. So thanks for watching, and have a good night. Bye. Say goodbye, Mark. Bye. Banded answer to four. Thank heavens for drugstore gifts. It really did save Christmas. Go and get a pack of feta. I'm a Coca-Cola rock and roller. Cheesy Christmas. We're gonna have a cheesy Christmas. We're celebrating Jesus this year. Good, good.